that I could do today is come out with a pom-pom and a cat on my head and just scream at people. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do. A lot of people are not willing to talk about who they voted for. Uh, we're just trying to get out the vote today. We're trying to get as many people to the polls as we possibly can. What do you think that means? Um, they're probably voting for the wrong person. Bush is doing a good job. He can stay in office. I voted for two reasons to get George Bush out of office and to get John Kerry in there. <laughs> I think people are waking up. And, uh, it takes, sometimes it takes a bad fall to wake up. I believe that America needs change. And with that change, we'll see a new dawn. We're doing everything short of dragging people from their homes and beating them until they vote. <laughs> Here, you take it. You don't want it, pass it on to somebody else. Tell them the same thing. Don't be a sucker. Vote. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Every vote counts. Have you been, been doing, doing this topic? since uh, midnight. Mm -hmm. Vote as if your life depended on it. Vote. My daughter is 13 and she will not grow up in a fascist regime. If it were me, I'd stay here and fight. If it doesn't go my way, we're leaving the country. I'm giving up my citizenship. We can't be a target. I can't have my daughter walking around with a target on her. Register Boone County voters! Register Boone right. County voters! Just this once, do it for me. Just, just this to once. Start. I don't care if you never vote again in your life. Do it this time. Boone County voters? You voted! You think, you think we're going to know tonight? No. No, but I think uh, I think we'll probably know early tomorrow morning, and I think that John Kerry's going to win. I really think I, he is. Optimism. I think he's going to win, and I think I'm going to be wasted until he does, does win. We're doing heavy drinking either way. What we can have you guys do is um, visibility. Um, this morning we put up a lot of signs, and a lot of them disappeared. So if we can have people holding signs, they're not going to take you, obviously. We've said all along this election's neck and neck, and it's going to come down to who mobilizes their sporadic voter, their undecided voter. And um, today we've had over, like hundreds of volunteers. We're doing phone banking. This is a canvas. We just ran out of all 49 precincts to go knock on doors. Um, it's looking real good for us because we're, we've got su such a tight volunteer network. One of the things that's kind of good about an election day is that we know it's going to happen. Um, and that changes things dramatically. When something blows up, you don't necessarily know that that's going to happen. Um, the number of stories that come in on an election night is at least double, probably triple the number of stories that we deal with on a regular night. So we've got all these extra reporters writing all this extra copy, which means we've got extra pages and we need extra people to do all the work of getting that copy onto those pages. Uh, and there's a lot of work that goes on past that stage of writing up what happened. Um, every story goes through a, a number of editors before it winds up on the page. And there are actually designers who have to design what the pages look like as well. And so that was some of the coordination we were doing, is how are we going to structure the ordering of those pages to make sure they all get done by that 1.30 a.m. time that we have to send the pages. Or that we have to send the last page across the street to our printing plant in order for it to get printed. with luxury I'll leave my heart in your hands We spin each other down empty streets Into the spotlight's glare and at the party headquarters People jump up and stare With all locations and yeah, calls too All worn I've gotten a lot of people that have already voted, and in the off chance that somebody decides to talk to me about politics, I get a lot of people who are Republicans. It actually seems that I've gotten a lot more people that have already voted than I thought I would. Um, I've always heard that you know our generation is the kind that doesn't really get out and get involved in something like this, but I've had a lot, I've had a lot more people who have already voted than I thought I would. Have you voted yet? 
Did you go with the markers? Yeah. That just felt weird to me. I don't know. What are you used to? I, I never voted before. It was the first time. I lost my virginity to John Kerry today. Did it hurt? A little. You can ask that for the number of people who have voted, you may not talk to voters inside the voting room. You must ask permission before taking pictures of voters. You may not take any film of voters in such a way that it shows how the voter has voted, like over their shoulders right, while right. they're voting. Man, that would be so rude. I'm still a little hesitant, but I'm hoping that when uh, we see the results of all the new voters and all the people with cell phones who don't get pulled and everything, I'm pretty sure the K is going to pull this one out. I'm volunteering to make sure that the voting laws are followed. How did you get that I job? volunteered for it. They just freak, so I take it off. But what, that's just good. That's what you want. Yeah. I'd rather have them overly cautious than... than um, They're not I think they've been trained in Boone County very well to to watch out for stuff. I was watching you film the, the woman in there who was obviously... It looked like to me like she filled out a provisional ballot. And I was interested to see if they were directing people to provisional ballots for address problems or if they were sending them on to the proper polling place. Because a provisional ballot... Um, I don't think it's a good idea. 